Hey coin collectors, welcome back to CoinOS. This is 1983 Lincoln Cent in MS62 red and brown condition. A penny struck on a copper planchet. Elusive transitional mint error. Reminiscent of the famous 1943 copper cent. Though the zinc plated steel cent was introduced in 1982, a small number of copper cent planchets found their way between 1983 dies. Perhaps the planchet locked in a crevice of a mint bin and was freed sometime later. An orange red and apple green example that has good strike and minor obverse abrasions. If you have rare pennies you want to sell, watch this video until the end and I'll show you where you can advertise them for free. This highly sought after error cent ended up selling for $23,500 at heritage auctions. This proof Franklin dollar was sold for huge money just a couple of days before. An exceptionally well produced and preserved example of a key date proof Franklin half dollar issue. On toned surfaces set off the remarkable deep cameo finish, silky smooth and virtually pristine even the finest collection of this popular 20th century series would be greatly enhanced by this lovely upper end gem. The 1950 is not only the first proof half dollar of this type, but it is also the most challenging to collect. The mintage of 51,386 proofs is the lowest in the series, and most survivors show considerable evidence of having been poorly made or carelessly handled. 1950 Franklin half dollar in PR66 deep cameo condition. It ended up selling for $66,000 at Stax Powers auction. Quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to our numismatic channel yet, make sure to activate subscribe and notification buttons below this video. Thanks. Here's 1964 the Washington Quarter with the reverse of 1965, otherwise called Type C reverse, with intense mint luster in a smooth, satiny finish. Otherwise untoned, both sides are ringed in a partial halos of iridescent reddish gold that deliver strong eye appeal. At 704,135,528 coins struck, the 1964D has the highest mintage in the Washington Quarter series up to that point in time. Upper end gems are surprisingly scarce and this is the finest example of the type C reverse variety known to PCGS. It was bargained for $8400 at Stax Powers auction. Moving on with this error, 1989 D. Lincoln sent in MS65 red condition. The remarkable aspect of this intriguing mint error is that copper planchets were last used for coinage in 1982, seven years before that piece was struck. Seven years before this piece was struck, copper blanks in early 1980 weighed 3.11 grams and had a composition of 95% copper and 5% zinc. The zinc planchets used from that point through 1989 were composed of nearly pure zinc core with copper plating for a total composition of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper that weighed only 2.5 grams. Perhaps a copper planchet remained hidden for years within the crevices of mint machinery or transport equipment. Or perhaps a planchet supplier mixed in a copper planchet that had been set aside as a souvenir. Whatever the reason for this anomalous wrong stock error, it is likely irreplaceable. It was sold for $7,500 at heritage auctions. This is 1926S Lincoln Cent in MS64 red condition, where rare CEC approval in a full red mid state example of this well known condition rarity among 1920s cents. The obverse exhibit warm golden orange colors that gives away to more of a pinkish rose hue on the reverse. Both sides are frosty in finish with bold strike and pleasingly smooth appearance. The 1926S is a low mintage affair by standards of Lincoln Cent series with just 4,550,000 pieces produced. It has long been regarded as semi to full key date issue in all grades and most collectors have had to settle for a worn example either due to availability or cost. Scars in all mean state grades in full red as here. The 1926S is a noteworthy condition rarity that's always greeted with excitement when offered through auction. Sold for $15,600 at Stax Bowers auction. 
Year is 1975, Jefferson Nickel in MS67 plus condition with full steps. Pastel multicolored toning encompasses each side of this remarkable registry coin. The strike is bold and preservation is superb. To determine whether 1975 nickel exhibits full steps, numismatists closely examine the steps leading up to Monticello on the reverse. Each step should exhibit distinct and fully separated lines, showing a clear definition between them. If the coin is well struck and properly preserved, it may be classified as having full steps like this one. This superb gem ended up selling for $2,820 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with this 1967 Kennedy half dollar from Special Mint Set, so called SMS Half. Great as SP68 by PCGS, Powder Blue, Antique Gold, Olive Grey, and Champagne Pink iridescence are seen on both sides of this expertly preserved superb gem. Universally reflective with a full strike and virtually pristine appearance, circulating silver coinage in the United States ended in 1964 with removal of all silver from the dive and quarter. However, the half dollar remained silver but only 40% silver clad instead of earlier statutory 90% fineness, a composition used through 1970. During this period, there was a shortage of coins in circulation, erroneously blamed on numismatists hoarding the coins. The mint went into high gear to produce required coins and briefly discontinued proof sets. Instead, they offered what they called special mint sets featuring coins struck from overpolished dyes using higher tonnage presses, but without additional preparation required for proofs. This gem was bargained for $2,400 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 1977S Lincoln Sand in PR70 deep cameo condition. Condition rarity in Lincoln Memorial series. Medium orange red surfaces are completely free of carbon, contact, or any other distraction amid the bold luster and superlative eye appeal. Most examples, the vast majority of spot, the most examples, the mass majority. Of spot free contact free examples appear in PR69 Deep Cameo rank. This one was sold for $7,050 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1934 Washington Quarter with double the verse graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS and certified by CAC. A fully frosted, virtually brilliant example with a bold, sharp strike throughout. The 1934 double the verse ranks as one of the most spectacular mint errors of 20th century, although it is many multiples rarer than. 1955, double the cent. It often commands lower premiums, placing it within the reach of many Washington Quarter specialists. He was in Stanton and estimates a population of just between 251 and 500 examples, scarcely more than 10% of the examples certified by PCGS, a grade MS65 or higher. And this is one of the finest seen by both PCGS and CAC. It was sold for $7,800 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1976S Silver Eisenhower dollar in Mint State 68 Plus, a virtually pristine beauty with subtle golden highlights to otherwise brilliant surfaces. These popular issues from one year design type created to celebrate the United States Bicentennial in 1976. The reverse is by Dennis R. Williams and was selected in an open contest that also selected bicentennial, bicentennial reverse designs of Washington Quarter and Kennedy of Dollar. The silver-clad 1976S Eisenhower dollar was made expressively for sale to collectors and many high-grade examples have survived. It was sold for $4,320 at Stax Powers auction. Moving on with his 1950 Washington Quarter in PR68 deep cameo condition. The lightest silver tinting hardly denies brilliance for this captivating ultra gem proof. Bright silver white surfaces display outstanding contrast between mirrored fields and softly frosted motifs. The 1950 is the first proof quarter issue produced after World War II, with a relatively limited mintage of 51,386 pieces. It is scarcest issue in the modern Washington series. It was sold in June 2023 for $22,800 at Stax Bowers auction. 
And this is 1966 Kennedy of Dollar from Special Mint Set, graded as MS68 Deep Cameo by PCGS. A truly remarkable example of both the type and issue. Both sides are fully untoned, with bold field to device contrast. Virtually pristine as well, and sure to catch the eye of the Sterling Kennedy of Dollar collectors. Although the Mint improved the quality of 1966 SMS half dollar issue after receiving complaints about its 1965 SMS predecessor, precious few survivors from mintage of 2,261,583 pieces exhibit enough contrast to support the Deep Cameo designation from PCGS. It was sold for $7,200 at Stax Powers auction. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit subscribe and like button.